Welcome back to Top of the Mountain. Sitting with me here is at my next guest of the morning, Lisa Johnson, founder of Aspen Fashion Week. Thanks for joining mm, us here. Thank you for having me. Now, Lisa has decked me out in some yeah. fabulous gear for this season, very bright colors. What is with the colors this season? Absolutely. It's a big, big trend this season. It used to be on closing day that you wore the bright colors. Now, every day is closing season. So is fluoro back in? Like, how do you wear fluoro on the slopes? You're doing it very well. Thank you. <laughs> You're doing it very well. I think just bright colors, it's be noticed. It's, um, you know, sort of fashion and function there. You've got it, you've got all, the, all of it covered. <laughs> Fabulous. Well, you look great too. The purples, the burnt oranges, they're still in and yeah. they're looking hot for this season. Absolutely. Okay, now we do have a couple models here with us this morning. We went and grabbed them right off the gondola plaza. Off the gondola <laughs> plaza. Let's start with the first one. We've been seeing flannel come in last season and now there's some great stuff out there for the girls. Do tell it what is Marguerite wearing? It really is. It's really street inspired and great. Again, that fashion function is, is something that's really important. Um, she's wearing a great Nike snow piece that um, we have the flannel sort of base layer, lots of great detailing. It's got the powder skirt, the vest that you can take on, take off. It could be great for outbreak, it could be wear, you know, worn alone. Um, great vintage detailing, all of it. All right, and our next model here, she's wearing the one piece. Now, I am a big fan of the one piece. I am too. <laughs> kind of, some companies haven't quite nailed it, but some really have, especially this season. Tell us about this piece. Absolutely. Jumpsuits and one pieces you're seeing all over the runway for spring, particularly. Lots of overalls, lots of sort of blousy jumpsuits, but this is a great piece by OTA with some beautiful fur styling, which fur is always, always a hit in Aspen. Faux fur, real fur. Um, but that's a great piece from OTA. It sort of has some military, piece, you know, components as mm. well with the. the sand so the color. one pieces don't have to be like figure hugging, do they? <laughs> no, and that's great. It's got sort of the dropped waist and sort of the slouchy thing going on. So that's very a hard. very wearable piece. Excellent. And I do notice on these uh, last pieces, well, you two, you're wearing the fur. Now, is fur in or out this season? Is it ever in or out? <laughs> I think it depends on who you ask. I think mm -hmm. it's a very personal decision, but. Um, you know, it's one of those things whether you're doing the real thing or whether you're doing fur, it's always a statement piece in Aspen. <laughs> mm, okay, well Mary-Kate's got some beautiful fur on this piece. Do tell, what's this jacket here? That is Roberto Cavalli, so a lot of great detailing with quilting. And that is, again, this fashion function thing. You can take off those cuffs at the base, you can take off the collar. Um, really? And it's got all the, the sort of good zippers and pockets and everything that you need for your iPod and our cell phones and all of that stuff. So she looks great. Is this to ski in or is this to socialize in? This is a little bit of both. I think, again, that's a, um, a piece that you can adapt. And if you want to go a little bit more low key, mm. um, you can take off the cuffs and take off the collar and it's great for outbreak. Nice. Now, I forgot to ask you about Sonja's uh, helmet and the pom pom oh, on top. Absolutely. You had a good point to make that. That's amazing. These new helmets are really great. They're actually magnetic pom-poms so they can come off and color coordinate for outfits and it's super cute so that's that piece is actually by Smith that came from radio um, so you can wear one alone mm -hmm. or, you know, sort of do the color combo which she's wearing there. Nice. So it's good stuff. Okay, well one last question, uh, the mid-layer. It's very important because after you're skiing, when you want to go out prey, you still want to look stylish when you take that jacket off. What's your recommendation? Absolutely. Statement pieces, you mm -hmm. know, it's always an outfit story. When you're taking off your jacket, you have to have something to talk about. So mid-layers are always great. Um, there's some really great new signature pieces that are out. We have a loved one from Helly Hansen that has sort of margarita glasses and tractors and fun things like that. Oh, fabulous. Well, I do want to ask, you are the founder of Aspen Fashion Week. When is that event coming back up again? March 14 to 19. Um, right here we will have an apres ski snow stage right here at the base of Aspen Mountains. So that's going to be amazing. We're showing on the models right now 2009-10, which you can currently buy in stores. But in March, you'll actually see upcoming season and what you're going to be wearing for next year. For next so year. That's an event we'll to have come your, to. We'll have your seat front and center. What are the dates again? <laughs> March 14 to 19. And you can get all the information at AspenFashionWeek.com. AspenFashionWeek.com. <laughs> Lisa, thank you so much for coming yeah, on the show. I really appreciate absolutely. it. Right now, let's take a look at weather. David Cook here with your mountain weather for Sunday, December the 6th. The high today is going to be 20 degrees, so it's going to be chilly out there, folks. Make sure you are bundled up and dressed warm. The snow is going to be falling, but it's going to be cold. You'll, we'll, we'll feel some strong wind gusts coming down up from the 
from the southwest from with gusts up to 30 miles per hour with a typical wind speed of about 15 miles per hour throughout the day. These systems are pushing through fast and furious and what it's doing is just backing these systems up right one right after another and it's going to create this beautiful base that we've been waiting for to get off this man-made snow onto the soft stuff. So we're really looking forward to a week of consistent snow, a little break on Tuesday that's coming on the heels of, the, of a break off the Pacific coast. But down in Hawaii, these waves are just crashing. Actually, a high wave warning today. And this system is going to be pushing up and backing up the system that's currently here that will create snow throughout the week. So we are looking at a wonderful opportunity to get the base exactly where we need it to be, more seasonally accurate. Speaking of which, take a look at your local weather.